Hi, welcome to part 8 of the video series about work and energy. In previous video, we learned about conservation of energy and mechanical energy. In this video, we will solve some examples related to conservation of mechanical energy. We are going to start with the simplest one and increase the level by each question. The pendulum is a ball suspended from a rope. The ball at point A has a kinetic energy of 30 joules and a potential energy of 20 joules. Determine the ball's mechanical energy at point B. According to the law of conservation of mechanical energy, the mechanical energy at point B is equal to the mechanical energy at point A. To calculate the mechanical energy at point A, we are adding kinetic and potential energies of the object. Kinetic energy is 30 joules and the potential energy is 20 joules. The mechanical energy of the object at point A is 50 joules, which is the case for point B as well. In the second example, a ball of mass 500 grams is thrown vertically up with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second. Use the principle of conservation of mechanical energy to determine the height that the ball will reach. Ignore air friction. There are several approaches of solving this question. However, as stated, we must use the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. Let's begin with the solution by drawing a diagram. The ball has two important positions for us. The first one is when it is at a ground level. It is important because all of the information in the question is related to this point. The second position indicates the ball's maximum height. Since we need to calculate this height, the mass of the object is 500 grams. As we can't use grams in our calculations, we convert it to kilograms. 500 grams equals 0.5 kilograms. The velocity of the ball on the ground is 20 meters per second. According to the principle of conservation of mechanical energy, it remains constant at both maximum height and ground level. Mechanical energy is the sum of kinetic and potential energies. Kinetic energy can be calculated as 1 over 2 times mass of the object multiplied by the square of its velocity. And potential energy is the product of the mass of the object, gravitational acceleration and the height of the object. As the ball rises, its velocity decreases until it reaches its maximum height, at which point it stops and velocity becomes zero. Kinetic energy has no value at zero velocity. The ball has a mass of 0.5 kg, a gravitational acceleration of 9.8 meters per second square, and its height needs to be calculated. At the ground level, the potential energy of the ball is equal to zero as the height of the ball is zero. Mass of the object is 0.5 kg and its velocity at the ground level is 20 meters per second. The maximum height the ball can reach is 20.45 meters. The last question is the tricky one because we have to determine the object's velocity at point B without knowing its mass. As a result, we sometimes complain that the question is wrong or that certain details are missing. Let's see if this is the case. As we know, mechanical energy at point A equals mechanical energy at point B. Mechanical energy is the sum of potential and kinetic energies. Kinetic energy is defined as 1 over 2 times m times v squared. Potential energy is defined as m times g times h. If we look closely at the equation, we can see that each expression in the equation involves m, the object's mass. That is, we can simplify the masses in the equation. As a result, each side of the equation can be written as 1 over 2 times the square of velocity plus the product of gravitational acceleration and the height of the object. We don't know the velocity at point B, gravitational acceleration is 9.8 and height at point B is 5 meters. 
Velocity at point A is 15 meters per second. Gravitation acceleration is 9.8 meters per second square and the height is 3 meters. Velocity of the object at point B is 13.63 meters per second. In this video, we solved some examples related to conservation of mechanical energy. In the next video, we will learn about work energy theorem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications in order to be updated about the new videos.